Okay, now we're going to go to the full open position. And we've been running a little bit, and our motor's beginning to get warm on us. And we got a 215, 215 and 220. So we're in the open position now. And we're going close. On our fail closed without power, we got uh, somewhere around 220 inch pounds. So um, <clears throat> that's a little bit over and above what the actuator is rated. But I, I do want to mention here that uh, we also always would like the customer to um, apply a safety factor for the valve because, as you know, if your valve's got 200 inch pounds and our actuator is rated for 200 inch pounds, there's a good chance that the actuator won't automate the valve. Okay, now we're going to run the actuator to the full open position. As you can see, we're up over 220 inch pounds. Okay, now we're in a full open position. We're going to run it closed. So the actuator was all the way closed, and as you can see, we were up over uh, 230 inch pounds at one point in time. So the actuator is getting the, the torque that it's um, rated at. This actuator is pulled right off the shelf. We did nothing to it, made no adjustments, <clears throat> and um, the torque test was performed on it as it was. Running it to the open position so we can go ahead and fail it. Lost the power. Good. Okay. About 220 inch pounds was the, the highest uh, spring parts. Yeah, but even at the end of the spring's tension, it was still over 200 or right at 200 inch pounds. Right, right.